So hi guys, this is Varsha, and you are doing Mastermind. So friends, as you have already seen in the title of this video, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions from physics from the chapter Refraction of Light at Plane Surfaces, and all these questions are important for your ICC 2020 board examinations. These are the type of questions which are mostly repeated every year from this chapter. So let us begin. So friends the first question is write a relationship between the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction for a given pair of media So the relationship between angle of incidence and angle of refraction it is given by this equation it is mu is equal to sin i by sin r sin i upon sin r so mu is the refractive index and sin i upon sin r so this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction so this is the relation and and friends this is one of the law of refraction that is the second law there are two laws of reflect, uh, refraction so the second law is, says that the ratio of the sine the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is constant i think it's not visible so i'm writing it here is constant for the pair of given media for the pair of given media so this is the second law of refraction there are two laws so this law says that the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence that is sin i and the ratio of sine of the angle of refraction so divided by sin r is constant and this constant is called the refractive index this constant is the refractive index so friends now moving on to the next question this is the numerical type of question so the question is the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 5 km per second and what is the refractive index of glass so speed of light in glass is given and you have to find the refractive index of glass so you must be knowing this formula since you have to find the refractive index of glass so refractive index of glass is equal to speed of light in air or vacuum divided by speed of light in that medium so that medium refers to refractive index of glass you have to find the refractive index of glass so speed of light in glass so this is the formula so speed of light in air or vacuum it is you must be knowing this this is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this is the speed of light in air or vacuum and the speed of light in glass it is given 2 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second so you can see that this is in meter per second and this is in kilometer per second so you have to convert this kilometer per second into meter per second so this is going to give you 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 2 into 10 to the power this is 5 and it is going to be multiplied if you want to convert kilometer into meter so it it has to be multiplied by 1000 so when you multiply it it is going to give you 2 into 10 to the power 8 three zeros is going to be added so it will be 3 into 10 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so now this 2 is going to get cancelled and 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so this is the refractive index it is the refractive index of glass and since refractive index it does not have unit so there is no unit it is directly 1.5 is the answer so friends go through this type of questions these are the numerical type of questions which are numerical based questions which are asked from this chapter that is refraction now moving on to the next question that is question number 3 The question is Ratan puts a pencil into a glass container having water and is surprised to see the pencil into a different state. So the question based on this the above lines is what change is observed in the appearance of the pencil. So you have to write what change is observed in the appearance of the pencil. So the answer is the pencil under water the pencil under water appears to be shortened 
appears to be shortened and raised up. So friends, this question is also important for your board examinations. These are the type of questions which are asked. And the second question is name the phenomena responsible for the change. So you must be knowing the phenomena that is responsible for this. Why the pencil or it can be any other stick. So when pencil or any other stick it is placed under water. So it appears to be shortened and raised up. The, re the reason for this is refraction of light. So the reason is refraction. It is refraction of light. So friends, now moving on to the next question, that is question number four. You have to give two conditions for total internal reflection. So this is also important. There are two conditions for total internal reflection. And this is also most of the time marks from this chapter. That is refraction. So two conditions for total internal reflection is that the first condition is the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence must be greater Angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle for the pair of media and another condition for total internal reflection to take place is that the light must travel from a denser to a rarer medium. So this is another condition. The light must always travel from a denser to a rarer medium. These are the two, two conditions of total internal reflection. So friends, now moving on to question number five. The question is out of red light and violet light, which color of light has a higher critical angle? So the answer is red light. Red light, it has higher critical angle and violet light, it has the least critical angle. So you must be knowing this. This is important. Now moving on to the next question and this question was also asked in your board examinations. Now moving on to question number six. The question is name two factors on which lateral displacement depends. So you have to state two factors on which lateral displacement depends. So the first factor is angle of incidence. Lateral displacement, it depends on angle of incidence. Second is, it depends on the thickness of the glass block or glass slab. Thickness of glass block. Or you can also write refractive index. It also depends on the refractive index. So you can write any two from this. Now moving on to the last question, that is question number seven. You have to give two laws of refraction. So this is also very important from this chapter, that is refraction, the two laws of refraction. So first law of refraction is that and friends telling you that these uh, the two laws of refraction you must be thorough with this. This is very important. First one is that the incident ray, the incident ray, the refracted ray, the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal to the point of incidence and the normal to this is the point of incidence all lie in the same plane so this is very important this is the first law of refraction the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal to the point of incidence all lie in the same plane and the second law of refraction we have already discussed in the first question right in the first question this one the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is constant for the pair of given media. And this constant is called the refractive index or the mu. So this is the second law of refraction and telling you that these two laws of refraction, they are also called Snell's law. It is named after a scientist, so it is also called Snell's law. So I'm not writing it again. So friends, this was the video. That's all for today. And these are the type of questions which are mostly asked from this chapter. That is refraction in your physics board examinations. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are important for your board examinations. So friends, this was the video. That's all for today. And besides this, if you have any doubts or queries related to your board examinations or regarding any of the answers, so you can write to us in the comment section. Thank you.